Hello my friends, my name is Mohamed Naveed and this lecture I am going to teach you Distort and Transform Effect in Adobe Illustrator. In order to learn Distort and Transform Effect, first we need to take an object. For this I have taken rectangle and what I do I will first select this then I will go in effects and then I will click on uh, Distort and Transform. As you can see they now showing me all the effects of Distort and Transform. First effect is free distort so what I do I will click on free distort and as I click as you, as you can see they are now showing me a window so here what I do I will just simply click and drag and definitely with the help of this I can you can say change the edges with the you can, as you can see that now I am playing with the edges of my object getting me now after this if I if I say ok it's fine so what I do I will click on ok and as you can see that now I am getting the same result getting me so with the help of uh, free distort we can get something like this I will do Ctrl Z to go back. Then I will go again in facts, free, free, uh, distort and transform. And here we have this uh, effect. So in order to get this effect, what I do, I will simply click on it, and uh, I will check preview so that I can see. So what I do, I will sim simply click and drag this definite dis uh, this line, and as you can see, then now I'm getting this effect, getting me. So if you want to get effect like this, so just simply click and drag this, and you will get. It. And if you want to come to normal, come at the middle, and if you want bold left net you will get as you can see now you are getting something like flower or something getting me so very easy and after this if you if you are fine click on ok and or cancel ok uh, then i will go again and uh, transform uh, distort and transform and uh, here we have the third uh, you can say effect is called roughen so what we will do let's see i will click on uh, preview so as you can see that now we have rough edges getting me so rough one uh, you can say effect rough are you can say uh, edges so let's suppose we want to change the size of our rough as you can see that now we are getting the size and here we have relative and absolute so definitely if we say relative so relative comes in percentage and if it's an absolute to absolute comes like this getting me so definitely here we can change the size and here we have detail means how much uh, rough do, or fun do you want or rough do you want so just simply click and drag and as you can see that and as you can see that with the help of this uh, option I'm getting rough getting me so as you can see that now I'm getting too much rough too much roughen definitely I'm getting getting me so with the help of roughen uh, option uh, not tool better than with the help of roughen option or effect we are getting rough getting me edges and here we have the point the first is smooth and corner when we say corner so corner like this and smooth if I click on smooth so you will get the smooth as you can see that now we have smooth edges or smooth points getting me I will go again and uh, this time I, I will click on transform and as you can see that now I have a uh, you can transform uh, you can say window and in transform what do I have I have a scale for example if I want to scale by horizontally as you can see that now we have horizontal or uh, vertically as you can see now I'm getting uh, I'm scaling it vertically getting me move if I want to move it horizontally vertical getting me so with the help of transform I can do and if I want to change the angle of my uh, of my object I can also do and here we have the option called copies means how how many copies do you want for example if I say two and after if I say uh, okay so as you can see that now I'm getting two copies the, this is the first and second getting me so with that copies we can get the copies means duplicate again I will go in distort and transform and here we have definitely this effect preview and uh, horizontal and as you can see now I'm getting something like getting me so with the help of this you can get getting me and uh, what do we have next uh, we have a uh, twist definitely will twist it so I will check the preview and I will give the angle and I'm giving angle again angle and uh, as you can see that I'm getting twist getting me so with the help of twist you can get the twist very easy and zigzag if you want to get the zigzag effect you can also get so check the preview and I will change the size and I will also change the definite edges segment and as you can see that now I'm getting uh, zigzag okay and the, here we have the same option points uh, smooth and corner so corner like this and smooth like this getting me so in this lecture what if what have we learned we have learned uh distort and transform effect in adobe illustrator i hope you've understood for more videos lecture and exercises come to my website www.navidplus.com i love you and i will meet you in the next video till then allah hafiz